Hello and welcome to another video of the character animation series by Third Island Studios. In this video, I'll be showing you the different ways to generate animatable characters for Blender, most of them for free. This is intended for people who don't want to really spend months and months modeling and rigging and shading and creating their character. For me personally, I spent three months just to create my character. Three months. Couldn't animate at all in that during that time. A video like this would have benefited me a long time ago. So over the years, I've found different ways that I can generate animatable characters for Blender for pretty much for free. And I'll be happy to share this with you today. So the first character generator I want to show you is the Daz 3D character generator. Daz 3D is, an, is sort of like Blender as well. It allows you to create films and things like that, maybe films and animatics and those kind of stuff. Um, and the difference between Daz 3D and Blender that I found is it has a marketplace where they sell models and props and environments and things like that. So uh, one of the things that we can take advantage of is we can use their characters. Uh, these characters were developed purely for Daz, but they have exporters now that you can send them to other 3D applications, in our case, Blender. So you can see here that each of these characters has a price attached to it. Obviously, the more expensive the character, the more quality it tends to be. And the lower the price, the low it sort of looks a little bit low poly. One of the most popular Daz characters is the Genesis character. So basically what, what you do is you, you have a, a base character and then you can make different different characters from that. So you could transform your character from say this character to this character using a few sliders. And that allows you to create different different variations of characters. I also used Daz 3D for my own animation film called Tripping which you can find on my YouTube channel. I had to export the Daz 3D character and then import it into Blender. And once you do that, you need to do a lot of changes to make sure that it is compatible with Blender. Things like making sure that you readjust the shaders and the materials, making sure the UV maps are all right, um, uh, making sure the rigs are all named properly and so on. And it, it doesn't also have an IK, IK F, a proper IK rig associated with it, so you need to sort of uh, re-rig re the rig, if that makes sense perhaps not, but it doesn't matter, uh, sort of like recreate the animation controls for this character, if that makes sense. Um, hopefully it does. Daz 3D obviously produces very nice looking characters, the skin textures all, all look good, and I, I personally found that the, the characters that were generated from Daz 3D looked quite nice, the skin textures were looked beautiful and the clothing textures were also quite good. But the main problem, the cons of this generator is that it takes a lot, uh, it's a bit tedious to sort of um, make sure everything is compatible with Blender. So that now leads me to move on to the next character generator called MakeHuman. MakeHuman takes out all that tedious work. Why? Because Blender has a plugin that allows you to import MakeHuman directly. So you can create your characters inside the MakeHuman software and Blender can then import that with the textures and rig and everything pretty much ready for you to just go in and just animate. So that's why Make Human is a lot more simpler to work with. Uh, it's free, it's open source, uh, so you can do whatever you want with it. The copyright, you, you, don't, you don't have any repercussions or anything like that in terms of copyright. Uh, and you can, you're allowed to use it for illustrations, animation, games and so on. So you can find this at makehuman.org. The cons, however, is that the quality of the character I find is, is a lot less than Daz 3D. Again, I'm going to be plugging my own film. Uh, this is Thieven, my first animated short film, and these characters were generated from MakeHuman. Uh, obviously, you can tell the quality of the characters are not as good as th Daz 3D. Uh, There's another character. Uh, this is another character. These are the two characters that were generated from MakeHuman. So there you go, that's the Make Human Generator. The next character generator that is a personal favorite of mine actually is the CG Cookie Flex Rig. Uh, this was generated by, by Nathan Begdahl, Bjorn Leonard and Jonathan Williamson uh, from CG Cookie. And uh, they basically make it easy for us to change the look of the character and 
they give us animation controls and we, we work with these directly from within Bender. And the, the quality of the characters are quite good, but they do tend to look more cartoony and tend to sway away from realism. These are the characters, sorry, another shameless plug of my own film. These are the characters that were generated by the CG Cookie Flex Rig. So obviously more cartoony, but quite easy to work with. I found these, I found the rig especially to be very, very easy to work with. And you can also uh, work with facial and animation for the first time. The other character generations do not have a facial rig, but CG Cookie Flex Rig does. So this allows you to create facial expressions and things like that, and facial animation and so on. So this is the rig that I'll mainly be using throughout the rest of the series. I'll be just giving you a brief demo of the CC CG Cookie Flex rig, uh, since this is what I'll be using throughout the rest of the series, as I just mentioned. Um, so what you can do, you can change, you can set, for example, change the size of the head by changing the upper head size, uh, changing the cheek fat, making him chubby, making him not skinny, uh, giving him bigger ears. Uh, maybe for the body, I, I I want him to be a lot more stronger, so maybe. Uh, uh, give him a lot more muscular look. Uh, give him a lot more girth in the arms and legs. I don't know. You can play around with this kind of stuff. And also you can change the colors as well. So you can give the hair a different color, the eyes a different color, the skin a different color. Obviously that you don't get a green character color, a green colored character. So. Generally, the human skin tends to be somewhere within cream colored to brown, I guess. So you can go from dark brown to white. And, and you can make different, different uh, variations like that. And very quickly, you can create different, different variations of characters in your scene in five minutes, pretty much. This is why I love this rig so much. And it doesn't use that much memory as well. The other characters, the, the other character generators tend to use up a little bit more memory, but this one. This is quite good. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are the free character generators that are available in Blender.